Hello everyone, it's Natasha from Treasure Books. A lot of you guys have probably seen this project that I did previously, all of the things that are made from empty tissue boxes. So today we are creating this wallet type ephemera holder. So this is what it looks like on the inside and the back. This is the one I will be making today and I am just using a box like this, an empty tissue box. I have all of the notes over here. I will put them side by side at the end of the video so you can take a screenshot if you like. So let's get started. All right, guys, I'm using this tissue box for this tutorial. It's a rectangular type of a box and the size doesn't matter because all of our boxes are going to be different. So this will just give you a general idea on the things that you can do. The first thing I'm going to do is cut off these flaps top and bottom and also this panel here, just this panel here that has an opening. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this panel off. So I'm just gonna cut in here first. And now I'm going to cut this over here, but because this will be my flap here at the front, I want to make sure that I have a nice clean cut. So I'm going to keep these for another project. Maybe I'll throw these bits out because I can't really use them for much. Um, but most of the, these things I'm going to keep. All right, so now I just want to see what side do I want to use. Because of this ridge that's here, I'm going to have that as my pocket. And this will be my cover. The next thing I'm going to do is I just want to shorten this right panel. So this is my right panel over here. I just want to shorten it about this much. I'm going to show you in this one, see how that's shorter. So then it's easier to kind of take things out and put things in rather than if it was kind of all the way up to here. So let's see, this one is about two and a half inches. So that's what I'm going to do over here. I'm, I'm going to measure about two and a half inches from the end. So I'll just trim it there. And before I continue with the next step, now that that's shortened, I want to fix up this edge because this edge is looking just a little bit rough. So I'm just going to trim down a tiny little bit. You can see from the inside, this will be the inside cover or the flap. So I do want it to look nice. So I'm just going to cut, uh, trim off maybe just a few millimeters. All right, so you can already see how that's looking. So the next thing I want to do is see the back of my project here. It's covered in all of this writing. So I'm going to cover that uh, panel with scrapbook paper. So I have just cut this paper to size. I just need to trim it down here. And then what I can do, so this one, for example, only had writing down at the bottom. So I left this as a pocket in here. And I could do something similar here. I could maybe glue it just like this, leave a little bit of an opening here to have a pocket. You can even leave it a pocket here on the side or here on the side. You can do so many things. I personally, I'm just going to glue it down and just ink the edges a little bit. I chose to use a black ink this time. And now I'm just going to apply glue and glue it right down. So first I'm going to use my glue stick and then I'm going to use a second type of glue. I use this Boil Craft glue because it dries very quickly. It's an acetone based glue similar to Fabri-Tac in the US. Something that dries quickly, preferably something that doesn't warp paper is good. So white glue and PVA glue and that type of thing uh, takes longer to dry and will warp paper but it's also a, glue, uh, a good glue to use. And just with my rag, I want to go over the edges just to make sure that if there's any glue seeping, I pick it up right away and then just make sure that it's really glued down. Okay, and that's my back. We could go and, you know, cover everything, but then what's the point, you know? I want to leave the tissue box. The only reason why I'm covering the back is because of the writing. So the next thing we're going to do is add a slim strip of scrapbook paper on this side here, about one uh, inch wide. Uh, and that will give us another little tuck spot. So you can see here, uh, this, this little tuck spot here. I'm going to use this piece. So this is exactly the same piece as I used over here from scrapbook paper. So I just need to trim it down to side 
I mean size and I'm going to use this for something else all right and now I need to glue this on so I'm only going to glue I'm going to apply a little bit of glue here on the edge and then the edges here as well uh, and then that's going to leave this open so don't just go and glue the whole thing down and here we go all right that's glued down making sure there's no glue seepage all right so this is all we've done so far and now I've got here decorate the front panel before gluing or sewing the wallet shut so now I want to decide if I want to do anything on the front panel and I have decided that I do not I'm not going to I mean I can always come back to it later if I want to but I'm quite happy with just inking the edges over here and I think once we add the closure and we finish with the sewing or gluing it's up to you what you're going to do but I'm going to do sewing and I think sewing adds so much character to a project anyway so that's why I have decided not to embellish the color in any way maybe I'll link a little bit on the inside too why not all right there we go I've uh, done all of that inked it all up decided I'm not going to decorate my front panel and let's go to the next step which is now this is where you sew or glue around if you're going to glue uh, you just need to apply a little bit of glue here and a little bit of glue here so what you're doing of course is creating that pocket what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew around these three sides I'm not going to sew this side because it's quite thick I'm just going to leave that so just for visual purposes you can see this one that's already done and you can see how I've sewn the three sides there and that's what I'm going to do here so I'm just going to use a zigzag stitch so I want to have my good stitches on the correct side so I am going to turn my project this way so then I can have my good stitches showing at the front you know how uh, underneath the stitching kind of looks funny especially if you've got a blunt needle like I do so I'm actually going to start here and then go around all right so here we go I'll turn it this way so you can see I've just stitched here here so this scrapbook paper even though it's glued down it's secured again with the stitching and then over here this is also secured again with the stitching so I just like to make sure my projects you know are secure but if you, you I mean you don't have to sew you can definitely just apply glue here and glue here if you did if I didn't sew I probably would maybe embellish the cover a little bit more all right so now I just want to get rid of these extra bits and I'm going to tie a knot I don't want to just cut them off because I'm afraid you know I didn't backstitch so I'm afraid it's going to unravel so I just kind of pull on the string and get this other string to come to this side so I've got both of the strings on this side and then I'm just going to tie a knot and then trim it off okay there we go all right so the next step is adding the closure number seven and so I'm going to grab one of my off cuts from before I'm going to need that okay and then I've also got this from another cereal box so what I'm going to do is I need two circles two different size circles so I've actually got these two circle punches Bef I didn't always own these before I had these I used to cut things out by hand so you most definitely can do that all right so I just want to use one black circle and then for my larger one I'm going to use this one so it will be something like this I think that's okay yep oh you can even have just the one circle it doesn't have to be two you can have four you can do all sorts of different things next thing I need is I want to add a little brad in the middle and I'm going to go with this beautiful golden little flower maybe ink the edge so this is how I do my string tie closures and so I have the little flower on top of the big flower and I'm, I'm going to poke a hole right in the middle okay here we go all right so I'm not going to close the bread because now this bread has to go through my cover so now I just need to find uh, the center of my little cover here I mean you can just eyeball it really it's no big deal but I don't know I like things to be right you know okay so now that's that 
will go about there so I marked my middle but I want my closure to be a little bit further away so then when I put this through it's kind of you can still see the edge here it's not going over the edge I could even go back a little bit more but I'm just going to leave it for now and now I am going to close this bread here the next thing I need to do is use something to wrap around so I just want to see how long of the twine binding I need so if that's going to be there I want it maybe to go around maybe this many times so like one two times it's a little bit long but I need to tie some knots and then I'm going to add some beads and tie, uh, tie some knots so it's going to shorten it's always better to have a little bit extra than not enough all right so this piece is about 26 inches long and now I need to go with this under the top circle uh, the bottom circle so right there underneath the large circle and then I'm going to simply tie a knot and what this does is obviously keeps it in place but it also creates this space and you it's it's nice to have this space especially if you're tucking this you know under like this when you're tying it I hope that makes sense it's as simple as that okay I've tied it on and now I have my closure and it can close any way that you like but I really like this it's looking really nice so maybe I will add some beads a little bit later on but for now I just want to finish the inside okay so our next step is adding pockets on the inside of the left panel so this is our right and this is our left the main reason why I wanted to do that is to create more pockets and things you know places to put stuff and also to hide the bread the closure I just cut some pieces of paper to size and I want to leave a little bit of space in between them and then I also want to leave a little bit of space up the top because I, if I put this all the way up the top I can't really tuck anything in because it's going to be sticking out okay so this is sort of the approximate uh, placement I guess and I think also because of this sewing that I've got going on here and then it's going to be cover with, covered with my pockets I'm going to just sew around this is just for looks it's not it's not something that has to be done I'm just going to straight stitch around each of these pieces of paper before I glue them down all right here we go I have added some stitching to all of them and now I'm simply going to glue them down so I didn't give you any measurements for these pockets because you might have cut your uh, closure here your front panel shorter than I did and then it's there's no point in giving you measurements because it can all be different so all right now I'm just going to be gluing down the three sides so I'm leaving the top open all right now before I glue my middle one down which is hiding my bread I just want to cover that bread with a little bit of the masking tape you can use washi tape or whatever so uh, the reason why I'm doing that is because later on when I'm putting things into this pocket I don't want those tags and things getting caught onto the bread so uh, putting a little bit of masking tape or something to hide or to smoothen out that edge I guess will help and now I can glue my pocket right over the top okay I will give this just a moment to dry okay the next thing I'm going to do is add uh, some bits and pieces so I have already you know decided to use some of these journaling spots so I'm going to pop that into the large pocket over here and then I'm going to put this piece of paper for some notes in here as well another little piece of paper with butterflies this is a large one that opens up like this I mean you know you can put in here whatever you like and then I've got this large tag that I just lined with some coffee dyed paper it's from a book like a little poem pop, pop that in there as well just want to assemble it so it looks nice so maybe I'll pop this over the top like that okay and then over here I've got some little tags I'll pop them in this pocket here and then I'm going to use this one in here 
and then these two tags up the top but I think I might need to shorten them because you see they're sticking out I don't really like that so I'm going to just cut them shorter and now I think because this is blending in completely I am going to embellish this bottom pocket so I'm just using a tiny little piece of book page like this and then I'm going to put this one over the top like this and then this like that and I think that's going to look quite nice so I'm going to glue all of that down and then also we have a tuck over here so I'm just using these little bits that I have you can have little tags something like that and I think this looks really really good so that's it for this pocket and now I am just going to add something on my closure I think I'd like to have some little beads down here so I'll go and get some beads I want to go with gold so maybe I can have some of these beads maybe two on each all right so I've threaded the beads through and now I just need to tie a knot but I want to see sort of where I want the beads to sit I might have two different lengths so let me just tie the knots and here we go the knots are tied so I can leave it long but I think I'm just going to cut them a little bit shorter just like that and there we go so now I have two of these little wallet ephemera type holder things and I think they look really cool and they're really good for happy mails and things like that there's all sorts of little goodies in here I think it looks really great you can go ahead and embellish this you could leave this as a pocket here as a pocket here you could do a different closure so the the way that you make yours might be completely different to the way that I make mine but this is how I made mine so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think in the comments down below I'm going to put these side by side just in case if you wanted to take a screenshot I will link down the video of all of the projects that I made using tissue boxes if you haven't seen it you can have a look there is so many different things we can create using everyday objects we don't need any fancy stuff to be creative I hope you feel inspired by this video let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and I will see you in my next video bye